Welcome friends! In today's Bannerlord 2 gaming tutorial I'm going to show you how to leave your faction aka Kingdom if in case you are not satisfied with them. First things first. Most easiest option is to simply go to the Kingdom tab here and select this option. Leave the Kingdom which will prompt you to two options, each one with its downsize. You can select which one suits you best. If you select this one, you will keep all your holdings, but keep in mind that immediate war with the faction you, le you left will commence. And obviously all the noble lords who were your allies will immediately rush to try to capture your castle in case you opt for this uh, solution keep all your holdings if you simply choose relinquish all your holdings all your holdings will be you know distributed through the nobles of that kingdom you have just left of course this is for losers this option and if, of course, if you want the option of leaving peacefully the kingdom, there is also the option to find the faction leader. In this case, I play with Batania. So if I wish to leave peacefully the kingdom, I will go meet Caladog, initiate the chat, select this option. My lord, I wish to be released from my oath. Of course, he will try to persuade you that no, 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 you choose the options. And of course, if you want to remain without any fifth castle or settlement, you choose all the options right here. And you are now back a free wanderer in Calrade, ready to be again a mercenary for any other kingdom or you are free to join another kingdom which suits you, your political objectives otherwise. I will show you now in a few moments the war option also, how it plays down, if you want to see it. Now, option number two for leaving your kingdom in Mountain Blade Bannerlord 2. Now this is the one which leads directly to a rebellion. You click Kingdom tab, you click leave the kingdom and of course you decide keep all the holdings. Confirm and let the rebellion commence. Please be advised that if you choose this option you will need to have already in army like me because immediately the faction will rush to try to take your possessions be right next to your settlement home settlement and get ready to defend it of course you click to wait here and pray that your defenses will hold Caladog of the Batanians declare war on Fen Calray this is my plan. As I mentioned, now you see red on all the previous faction. These are the settlements of the previous faction you have left. Now you are at war with them. But we have achieved our goal. We have left the faction. Keep in mind, we don't have yet a kingdom even though we are now independent. But my settlement is still with me. And as I mentioned, look here. They are rushing already to siege the town. Of course, if you have chose this path, keep it all the way till the end. It will cost of course resources, but it will 
be, in my opinion, much better on the long perspective. They will rush. They will try to. I, of course, am ready because I have a well-fortified town. If you choose this option, be sure to have a fortified town. At least. Worth fighting. Hope they don't want to start. They have chosen the option I don't I really like. Send the troops and deal. Was close. Wow. What the four of six. Of course. Show them all into time. Choose who to become prisoner, of course, now. Prisoners, prisoners, prisoners. Okay. If you have a perk, these prisoners will really come in handy. Of course now, don't forget to throw the prisoners into dungeon. Yeah. Prisoners now thrown into dungeon. Well, I hope you have learned from this tutorial how you can leave any kingdom or faction in Bannerlord 2. Hope you found it useful or entertaining. I wish you a very great day.